Dr. Killjoy put this sharp thing in my head, and I'm so happy now. So happy. So happy. You remember the first time we met? We were at Druid Hill, and I saw you in that old, broken gazebo. <laughs> you were so good looking. Mm. I thought you were all mature. How old did you think I was? I felt so young with you. All my girlfriends were so... But sometimes, I think you only brought me suffering.
see the show. My performance, uh, my performance on you, as it were, will be something I shall thoroughly enjoy. And I trust, so shall you. I am not certain we have been formally introduced. Talk, isn't it? Uh, my name is Killjoy, Dr. Killjoy, and I will be your alienist this fine evening. Welcome to the Carnate Institution for the Tragically Troubled, the Impossibly Insane, and the Diabolically Disturbed. Are you seeking science? Are you looking for the answer? Well, rest assured, you have come to the right place. Difficult to tame the brain. Sometimes it needs a little jolt to behave. Inmate, hold it right there. <laughs> it is all a joke. How you get here? You're not supposed to leave Abbott, don't they tell you anything? <laughs> come in, please, you come in. Yes, come in, I not lock you up. Name is Sergei. Uh, wait, are you really there? Or maybe I am dreaming again? No? <laughs> no, you real, da? He is a filthy immigrant. He's so friendly. He's a disgusting addict. Bettaker, Kennedy, Scott, they all went out. Try to find out what is happening. Me? I say why. I hear the sounds. Boom, crash, ah! I've seen some things through the doorway there. Things I don't want to see again. Understand? I stay right here. We're safe. And I have pipe to keep me company. Help you find what you need. Blow his head off. My only sadness is my stereo. Power go off. It don't work now, you see? If I could just enjoy a few more spins of my music, I'd be a happy man. Strange story about this place. It was a crazy house. A place where they send people who not know what is what. Me, I self medicate, huh? <laughs> been abandoned for many years. Now we guards come here to be free. It's the only place I feel safe on this island. I think you want something here. Is it to share pipe with me? No, I don't think so. I think maybe it is something else. A strange thing that goes on in this house. Maybe because you trouble? I ask you, why bother? Be mellow, go with flow. My hookah, it is breaking earthquake. Who knows, what else break here in old house? Maybe something in attic. Maybe you want to go find out. <laughs> hey! 
And so, my favorite subject arrives. It is in this room that all the secrets will be revealed. I will employ an experimental device that helps me chart the undiscovered country. But you can't come to the show yet. First, you must prove to me that you truly want to be cured, and that you truly are worthy of my time. See you soon, I hope. Forgive the mess. It's so hard to keep this place tidy when there is so much work to be done. And it is impossible to find decent help out here. But truly, this clutter doesn't even compare to the disorder inside your head, does it? That's where I do hope to do some spring cleaning. soul could not handle what he saw in the ink. Tell me what you see, Talk. Severe dementia, is it? Or perhaps chronic melancholia? Or is it an uncontrollable urge to regress back to a form unseen in modern society? One that will allow you to set matters right in the most direct way possible. Yes, I think that's it. But all else fails. One problem still remains. It is so very difficult to find good talent. Certainly, I am able to bring life to this piece of celluloid, but who to appear opposite me? Who to play Iago to my Otello? Eliza Doolittle to my Henry Higgins? My choice? Artificial actors. Synthetic prosthetic people who are much less resistant to their They will not argue, they will not complain, they will not meddle, they will simply execute. I have the vision. I am the one who the camera adores.
wonder why you're so furious, Tork. What happens, then, when your world goes black? Do you ever see a creature, a beastly form, the likes of which would cause any sane man to flee in terror? Tell me about him. How does he make you feel? Monsters walk amongst us, Tork. Don't you grasp the implications? It's a brave new world. Of course, such creatures are nothing new to you, are they? that I do that makes me worthy of their attention, of their gazing eyes, that makes me a star of unprecedented proportions. My labors show signs of the human mind hitherto unseen, revealing that which makes us do right and wrong. Don't you wonder about that? What makes you... Sometimes it is the body that threatens the safety of the mind. Sometimes it must be removed. You made the right choice. of radio has passed us by. Who would care to broadcast only on the audio spectrum of human perception when it is the visuals that can truly enrapture an audience? It was a peculiar form of its attempt to create a complete
At last, you have made it to the climax of this fine performance. Let me introduce our newest player. This fascinating specimen is a creature of purest strength and rage, whose presence here must prove quite a conundrum to you. His resemblance to these other soulless beasts cannot be denied, but he is altogether harder to truly understand. But with the capabilities of my experimental device, I can bring about a rebirth of the spirit. Thus, we can shed light on this most unique situation. Why not come inside, and I shall show you. Descend again.
You'll never find us in here. He may be bigger, but we're smarter. Cover your tracks. You'll never find us in here. Do you want to you want us to with us, Tor?
see, you aquatic atrocities! It's good to see another human still among the living. The name is Clem, sir. I've been plotting my escape from Abbott for years, and I had hoped to carry out my exodus tomorrow. But these recent events have ruined everything. Here, I'll show you. Make him bleed. He can teach you a lot. See what he has to kill, say. Kill him, kill, kill him, him, kill him. Kill him. Where 